are you making? A peach cobbler. I love peach cobbler. I didn't know it required so many lemons. I was trying to be sarcastic. I found this powdered lemonade in the back of Mason's cupboard, but there's no scoop. So there is no cobbler? I'm opening a lemonade stand to raise money to train seeing eye people for visually impaired dogs. Don't you mean to train seeing eye dogs for visually impaired people? Why would blind people need visually impaired dogs? That was another attempt at sarcasm. I just don't think you're doing it right. Here. Try this. Last batch tasted like beets. Well? Ugh, it needs something. <sighs> Worcestershire sauce? It needs to be cobbler. Oh. My grandmother told me to think of the ends in terms of boy parts and girl parts. Boy parts should never touch boy parts. And girl parts should never touch girl parts. At least according to my grandmother. She was surprisingly adamant. What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Um... It's Dixon. Um, uh, Dixon, Wynn, my nemesis. Nemesis? My arch rival, my foe, my Waterloo. My nemesis is Bangs. He's stolen another one of my jingles, reversed it, and made more money on it backwards than I did on it frontwards. I hate that guy. But I have a plan, see? From now on, all of my jingles are gonna be the same frontwards as backwards. Musical palindromes. That's why I needed you to put the batteries in my metronome. And then, next time Dixon steals one of my jingles and reverses it, I can sue him for copyright infringement on my intellectual property. That certainly sounds intellectual. Don't know why I didn't think of it years ago. You know what I wish I had thought of years ago? Hats for babies. <laughs> Do babies wear a lot of hats? Oh, it's truly an amazing world out there. You really should get out more. That's my opportunity to give back. All right, I didn't want to say anything, but now you've dragged it out of me. Brad, I'm barely listening. When I was young, I fell into a pond and almost drowned. But I was rescued by this blind spaniel who emerged from the reeds. It was the most incredible thing. He grabbed my collar, pulled me from the water, and shook me dry. <laughs> the uh, owner told me that Toby boy thought that I was a Canadian goose and that instead of shaking me dry, he was trying to break my neck. But uh, I was still touched. I had suppressed the memory. It only just came back to me in my sleep. <laughs> you sure it was a suppressed memory and not just a dream? Oh, uh, the sign's ready. I tell you that all proceeds go to animals blinded by sudden retinal detachment? <laughs> That's absurd. I think it's wonderful. Just yesterday I was telling Guy about the blind dog that grew up with me on our turkey farm, and then last night he has a suppressed memory. No, the acronym is absurd. Animals blinded by... <sighs> if Stumbles had had the benefit of a seeing-eyed person, she might not have chased that frisbee into the grain thresher. You were playing frisbee with a blind dog? Save those doggy. One, three, five, five, three, one. Swap for a pair of paws. This lemonade tastes like feet. What are you working on? I'm trying to write jingles that are musical palindromes. Okay, here's one I wrote for guys lemonade stand for blind dogs. Swap for a pair of paws. Swap what? 
new corneas so they can see? For their paws? The I and the A are inverted. Yeah, well, the lyrics aren't the important part. It just helps me get in the mindset. And it's actually not as easy as it sounds. You know what else isn't as easy as it sounds? Glad handling agoraphobic jingle writers. But I have others. Dog no poop on God. But I'm not so sure that will sell lemonade. Or how about Goddamn Mad Dog Nas Wang? Goddamn Mad Dog. I'm having a hard time setting that one to music. Why are you trying to write musical palindromes? Dixon Win. Dixon Win? Yeah, he stole another jingle of mine, reversed it, and now I hear it on the radio all the time. Oh, stop it, he did not. My jingle, free housebreaking wee pads with your new puppy pal, is obviously the exact same as his jingle, Joe's Tasty Crab Cakes will make you itch for crabs, crabs, crabs. Those don't sound anything alike. His is mine backwards. You can hear that plain as day, right? You think I'm making this up? Like your agoraphobia. What are you not telling me? Lots of things. The state flower of Indiana is the peony. So I have a whole stack of jingles here, just waiting for Dixon Wynn to try and steal. Mason, you want to retire again, don't you? So the rest of us will leave you alone once and for all. Desperately. Well, keep that in mind, because I want to put you up for a job that can make all that happen. A big one. But it requires you to go to Chicago. My agoraphobia is not made up. Hold on, so now you want Dixon to steal your jingles? Yeah, and I'll sue the hell out of him. Plus, when he reverses them and tries to sell them, his jingles will be just as flat and uninspired as mine. Wait. So your plan to destroy Dixon Wynn is to turn him into you. Well, I guess it's hysterical if you're an eight-year-old boy. What well, is? Milk, milk, lemonade, around the corner. You even listening to me. I don't get it. Uh, well, milk refers to the breasts. No, and I lemonade. don't understand why we don't have any customers. I thought they got done with maneuvers at four. Maneuvers? At the military base. What military base? Up the street. People doing jumping jacks under the iron fist of that drill sergeant? There is no military base up the street. That's an elementary school. Oh, elementary school. Gee, school's a lot tougher than I remember. I should try milk milk lemonade up there. I bet it would kill. Oh, you're thinking of the adult boot camp exercise program that uses the elementary school playground. I was considering doing it. But now, I think my time might be better spent doing charity work. Ugh, oh, yeah, because this isn't a waste of time. Battle stations! <coughs> Battle stations! <clears throat> Step right up, gentle persons. Would you tell her she's being ridiculous? She's not even interested in Guyanese folk art. In fact, she doesn't even know where Guyana is. Um, uh, may I interest you in a beverage to quench your thirst? It's for a good cause. Africa, of course. And while he was there, he should have picked up a fertility statue. <laughs> Wrong. Would you tell her if her eggs knew their way around a map, we wouldn't have needed one. And oh, by the way, they might have also mentioned that Africa and South America are not the same place. <laughs> Look. Animals blinded by sudden retinal detachment. <laughs> That's, That's absurd. absurd. Not my, you. My blind dog chased a frisbee into a grain thresher. That's not absurd. Now we're selling lemonade so that it won't happen again. What are you doing about it? Well, I, I guess we're buying lemonade. <laughs> no, you don't need to factor that in. Well, treat it as a non-divisible asset. Excuse me. Did you just say you were playing frisbee with a blind dog? <laughs> Oh, ask if it comes in soy. Does it come in soy? No, not you. Why would a cat come in soy? It comes in lemon. See if it comes with electrolytes. It, it, it comes with a cup. It comes with a cup. No, not you. When I'm talking to you, I'll say Bruce. Like, your honor. You see, your honor, what I've been living with for seven years? Can I get a free boost? No, your honor, not you. Wait. Would that help? Fine. No boosts. No electrolytes. Just two full calorie sugar crystal lemonades in plastic cups to go. Now pay up before any more dogs lose their eyes. Wait, wait, wait. We don't. You did what? 
Mason, you may be overreacting. You signed Dixon! Dixon win! Yes! As a client! It's not that big a deal. Oh, it's a big deal for you! Yeah, it is a big deal for me. Yeah, <laughs> you're damn right it is, so you just get to sit there. I actually don't like to sit. And collect 10% of his earnings. <laughs> I read you can lose six pounds a day just by standing. Earnings? By the way, he's collecting off of my inverted jingles. Oh, wait. Or was it total? But it was definitely six pounds. Or six days. You're fired. You're under contract. Which I'm sure you're violating. There is nothing in our agreement that says that I can't represent other clients. I certainly feel violated. Mason, you're looking at this all wrong. My signing Dixon is a good thing. Oh, good thing. Well, this ought to be rich. Mason, do you want to go to Chicago? Then I need someone who can. And since you're already working in tandem. You're not working in tandem. He is stealing from me. There are no more original ideas. Isn't it really just repurposing? No. Mason, together, you're the perfect client. He's the face and you're the talent. And he's the accent. He's the charm. A little bit of that He's accent. the face? There's nothing wrong with my face, Kate. Yes, there is, Mason. The trouble with your face, Mason, is that it's not big enough to be seen from Chicago. You don't want me to sign Dixon? Fine. But I need you to prove to me today, and I mean today, that I don't have to. You know what our problem is? Not enough scurvy. Deplorable lack of thirst in the populace at large. Literally or figuratively? Literally? Then you know what you need to do. You need to make people thirsty. Literally or figuratively? Literally. I could start my own boot camp. I could start my own boot camp like the one up the streets. I could start my own boot camp to make the people thirsty, to buy the lemonade, to raise the money, to train the seeing eye people to help the blind dogs. The live in the house that Jack built. Now that is absurd. It's perfect. <laughs> what are you doing? Borrowing your car? No! I need supplies for boot camp. No. Well, then how am I supposed to... <laughs> <laughs> Follow this for me. Park it close. Animals blind. Well, that's absurd. You don't know the half of it. Tell me, does Mason Harris live here? Who wants to know? Dixon Wynn. I'd heard he'd hit bottom, but I had no idea. <laughs> Nice oaky tannin. I detect a bouquet of something. Lilac? Oh, you really know your stuff. No, wait, not lilac. Feet. Well, volunteering to be a seeing eye person is a huge responsibility. I thought this would be a good test. Come on, Stumbles, too. I really need to be committed. A pair of paws. He's here. Who's here? No. You have to put this animosity behind you. This is my house. Never invite the enemy through your front door. Don't quote Sun Tzu to me. I'm your agent. I go to war for you every day. Oh, good. Okay. Then prove it. I'm done proving things to you. Today, you're proving things to me. Now, do you want me to move this meeting to another locale? We are having a summit. I'm going to sit the two of you down across the table, and we are not getting up until we can all agree to work together, like adults. Like adults. Mason. I forgot his teeth were so big. I'm sorry, Dixon. Come on. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh.
Maybe he's a vampire. For the love of God, Mason, his teeth are normal size! I'm just saying, I hear they have to be invited in. Afraid of bloodsuckers, are you? Add that to the list. <laughs> Vampires, Cub Scouts, his own shadow, aerosol food, success. Well then invite him inside already! Why would I invite a vampire inside my house? I am not a vampire! Wait, you think I'm afraid of success? Listen to one of your jingles lately, have you? Yeah, as a matter of fact, every time I hear one of yours. This is counterproductive. He's jealous. I get it. Jealous. <laughs> Jay, what was that thing you wrote for erectile dysfunction? I mean, did it ever occur to you that more wood than a log cabin and won't leave you hanging? Don't rhyme. Yeah, it occurred to me all the way to the bank. The bank? You weren't going there to rob it, were you? Dixon, please. You're not making this any easier. Okay, fine. Since it means so much to Kate, and since I can't stand to see this anymore, you may come in. <laughs> well, he's not a vampire. But he does suck. You better step out here and say that. What are you doing? I can't go in there. Just grow up, will you? No, no, no. I can't go in there. It's like he put a hex on the door. A hex? God help me. I'm a man. A man with a plan. A man, a plan, a canal, Panama. People will be coming here for an exercise program. And I'm skipping my jog for this. Do you even know what you're doing? I only have to make people thirsty enough to buy the lemonade. Um, turns out you can also get thirsty just sitting here. Go pee, Stumbles too. Go pee. But seriously, do you even know what you're doing, exercise-wise? <sighs> Got the hat, got the camouflage. You have the strength of a thousand men. The whistle. That is not a toy guy. That is only to be used in serious situations. It's a personal alarm. It's a rape whistle, I know. It's not a rape whistle today, Ashley. Today, it's a workout whistle. It's always a rape whistle. Oh! I think we found our first recruit. Where did he touch you? Show me on the dog. doesn't see so well anymore. How is he? She, I have a dog named Mason. Oh, dog owners are always good people. Hitler had a dog, German Shepherd. What kind of dog is Mason? Mason is a mutt. He doesn't get out much anymore since his balls were removed. Oh, well, maybe you'd be interested in volunteering with me. Here, why don't you come inside and I'll give you more information on animals blinded by sudden retinal detachment. It's absurd. We get it, okay? It's an inconvenient acronym. I, I just meant it's absurd because he can't come inside. Why can't you come inside? Yes, why can't you, Dixon? You're Dixon Wynn. You're Mason's Waterloo. Well, he's the anti-Mason, don't you see? Mason can't leave his apartment, so Dixon can't enter the apartment. It's so obvious. That can't be true. Mason, what's the first shape that comes to mind? Parallelogram. Uh, that anyone's ever heard of. Fine, square, which I might point out is a parallelogram. I talk about square. Dixon. Circle. Color. Blue. Blue. Direction. West, East, southwest. northeast. Musical instrument. Triangle. C. No, no, wait. I was still stuck on shapes. All right, we could do this all day. Oh, I can't. I'm giving shoulder massages to the recruits at Guy's boot camp. 
Guy has a boot camp? Uh, shoulder massages? It's all for the cause. Come on, Stumbles, too. Um, uh, is there room in boot camp for one more? Governor? <whistles> Listen to me! Oh, oh, I'm coming off duty, car! Down the tiny hill, uh, and around the cones, around the around the no cheating, no over the cones. Uh, then over here across the street. Uh, uh, no, what? Okay, no, across the street. No, uh, here to fourth square of the sidewalk. Then up here to the tree, up the tree, to the forwardmost branch, and down through my legs, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, blink, blink, blink. Oh. Uh, so, who's thirsty for lemonade? Really, no one. We haven't done anything. That's it. Drop and give me one. One? You want me to make it two, recruit? Drop! <laughs> oh! Mr. Guy, how could you? Oh. Ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as your leg warmers. This slouch sucks. And I'm tired of sitting here like we're at Appomattox. Come to surrender, have you? Me? No, you're the one surrendering. Uh, Dixon, doesn't anybody else think that sounds like Dixie? Peace conference, people! Legs up, legs up! Come on! Then. This is dumb. There's a line I won't cross. Like your doorway. All right, both of you, stop it. Because there's a line I won't cross. You. Yes, me. This line, this you, Mason, and you, Dixon, this, I don't even know what to call it. I cannot represent either of you unless I know that you're both okay with it. Get the wet out, Missy! Delicious lemonade! Quit Mason? your thirst! Run it down your gullet! I can't wait for lemonade! Mason, you are my first client, my most important move it, move it, move it. client. We have history. We spend every St. Hans often day together. Except for those five when you disappeared and lost all my money. Well, those five accepted naturally, but those were some of the worst St. Hans often days in my life. Without you, who's going to eat my rising grot? I'll catch you next lap. Good workout. Oh, my shoulders are so sore. You're pathetic. Okay. If I really am your most important client, you have my full attention. Oh, Jennifer, for God, frizzy. Jenny, your frizzy. Fine. Once again, I will prove myself to you. Ready, dear? I didn't throw the dog. Why'd you throw the dog? I didn't throw the dog. We have to do something. Okay. I got it. I got it. You're saying that Dixon can go to Chicago and present my work as his own and land the account for us the whole time keeping him close enough that I can keep my eye on him. Finally. Thank you. Now do you see where I'm coming from? So do we have a deal? Fine. But it's temporary. Do you have a cold compress? I have a frozen bag of peas. Except it's not frozen. It's in a can. Might be corn. That'll work. And over the pump is Tinkle the Rider. And back to the streets. Come on, everyone. Touch them. Blow that if I were you. Sing a romantic song! Seriously, Kate? 
My country, tis of the sweet love. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Typical. Now let's try it the way it was meant to be heard. Well, you're going to have to be a lot more clever than that, Mason Harris. A lot more clever. More lots. Uh -huh.